Okay, so um, you know, this is this is something that's so cool to me. Girls flag football here in Georgia. Really, you guys were the people that started it. Take me back to the beginning. What was the idea behind creating an opportunity for girls to be able to play flag football here? Yeah, absolutely. So I guess it really starts when we were back in 2017 and looked to Florida and saw that they already had girls flag football. It had been up and running for a while and how many girls were given the opportunity to play a sport at the high school level that we didn't have here in Georgia. And we thought to ourselves, what's holding us from starting this here? So we thought, what can we do to at least get this up and, up and running? So we thought, okay, a pilot program, something that shows people there's interest and we can do this. So we went to Gwinnett County, which at the time was the largest county in Georgia with 19 high schools, went to the athletic director, John Ware, and said, we will back you 100%, we'll fund you 100% as long as you can operate it. And he said, no brainer, absolutely. So that was in the spring of 2018 and we got it up and running by fall of 2018. So all 19 high schools were able to have a girls flag football team for that fall. And they thought at first, no one's gonna come out. We're gonna have to take from other sports. We're gonna have like three girls on the team. And they ultimately had to cut people from, from tryouts because they didn't have enough uh, spots for the amount of girls that were coming out. There were hundreds of girls coming out to try the sport. And that season alone, we always look back to that and we smile because th what we thought was gonna be so little turned out to be immensely impactful, just absolutely huge for the state of Georgia. And it grew from wildfire there. And I can remember back in December of 2018 when we, um, we hosted the Girls Fight Football Championship here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and just the girls' testimonies to what it had been to be on that team, to make it to that stadium, to play here like the boys have. I mean, it just brings you to tears, the impact that it's had. How did you know there was gonna be such an interest? We put some feelers out to a couple of high schools. We put feelers out to a couple of athletes that we knew and said, if this was provided to you, would you be interested? And nine times out of 10, the answer was yes, because it goes back to there was only powder puff. Powder puff or I am football. And I think a lot of us can resonate with powder puff because it was that one time a year we got to strap on a football flag belt and go out there on the field and you know be like the guys. And just that rush of getting to play football, it's something that we only got to have one time. And these girls thinking, I wanna feel that again. I wanna be out there. I wanna show people that I can play just as well as the boys. We thought if you could give them an outlet, they're gonna come. If you build it, they will come. So we definitely knew there was an interest. So there was, there's always going to be a little bit of uncertainty when you go into something brand new, but what came out of it, we couldn't be happier. I know that you said it brings you to tears when you think about, you know, where it was and where it is now, but when you take me inside those conversations with some of those athletes that you've had, how emotional is that for you to be a pioneer in something that's been so impactful for young girls everywhere? Yeah, I think if you ask anyone in our department who have seen, who have seen this firsthand unfold, we have been moved to tears more than we can count and we're we're happy to say that because you can really see the impact firsthand i'd say one of the moments that was extremely impactful for me and for our team we actually went out to montana and we were able to pilot three high schools so for montana that's that's huge considering the state and we talked to one of the girls she was a little bit shy and you know a little bit reserved to share her story but to sum it up she basically told us girls flag football saved her life and that was it. And we, we knew that this sport is so much bigger than just an opportunity. It's, it's changing lives. And it, it truly wasn't to feel that and to hear that and to get to see her on the field, playing with her teammates, having the camaraderie and knowing that the suicide rate in Montana is astronomically high just to hear her say that. There wasn't a dry eye in that building. It still isn't when we talk about it. It's just immensely powerful to see what this sport can do. Why is it so important to you and to the Falcons organization to be a part of something like this? It's immensely important to all of us because it stems from our owner. Arthur Blank is a huge proponent of giving people opportunity. No matter who they are, no matter what they're from, he wants to make sure that they all have an equal opportunity. And we want to fulfill those dreams that he has and the dreams that we have. Our department that oversees a lot of the girls' flag football efforts, a majority are women that did not have this opportunity. And if you ask all of us if we had it, we would have played it. And so we want to think, what do we want to leave behind for our granddaughters, for our daughters, for the girls to come, for the girls that are here in high school now? What do we want to give to them? And it's an easy answer of making this a possibility for them, not just at the high school level, but even at the college level, that they can go on and get a scholarship to attend college and play a sport that they love.
What's some of the feedback that you've gotten when the girls are able to play in this building where NFL games are played? It's it never gets old when you see someone run out of the tunnel or first step into the building and they just have that moment where they're taken aback and they're speechless. You, you come in here every single day and it kind of fades on you. But to see someone have that look in their eye of I'm in the same building that Kyle Pitts has played in or Matt Ryan has played in or Michael Vick, it's incredible to see the weight that it holds, especially if they are a Falcons fan because they can't they can't believe it. It's surreal to them that they're having an opportunity that most people won't have in their lifetime. Take me through what is next for you guys, because I know you have tons of plans always. Uh, it, it's hard to say because, I mean, the limit does not exist, to quote Mean Girls. We really want to focus on Georgia. We want to make sure that Georgia never forgets that we are here for them and to support them. So making sure that one day every high school in this state has girls flag football offered. Right now we're right about half. So the work is not done and we're excited to keep continuing on. But we've also dipped into Alabama. They're kind of our other claim territory as well with the Falcons. So we've really been working hard to get it piloted and up and running. And we're hopeful that it will be sanctioned in the next couple of years. And then we ventured over into Montana. A lot of people ask why Montana. Our owner, Arthur Blank, has a lot of ranches and property out there. So he feels very emphatic about having a philanthropic presence there as well. So we started by doing you football camps and you football opportunities. And then as we started piloting girls like football here and in Alabama, we thought we got to bring this out there. There is no NFL team in Montana or Alabama. So we claim them as our own and we really let them feel the love. You've given me a couple of snippets of moments to you that have been important or impactful. I know there's been so many, but is there one that maybe you think back to and you think, gosh, like this is so rewarding? Gosh, there, there are so many, but I'd say the moment that's been most impactful was in May of 2022, we unveiled a gorgeous wall here in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It's right next to our boys tackle football wall and it's the girls flag football wall. And it rivals, if not at times, looks better <laughs> than the boys wall and it showcases Every single school in Georgia that has girls flag football, it showcases the NAIA Women's Flag Final Championship and really showcases our efforts of the past four or five years. And every single time I see it, it does make me emotional because a lot of work went into that, a lot of time, energy and effort, not only of our department, but a ton of people in this organization. And just to see when we finally were able to unveil it and the three minutes of confetti that followed, it was a moment that I will remember for the rest of my life. I absolutely could be moved to tears by that because you could see just the historical moment of knowing that girls flag football in Georgia is here to stay and it's here to make an impact in so many different people and that wall just showcases that. Why do you feel like it's important for young girls to be a part of flag football? A lot of people don't realize their passion until they're given an opportunity. I was like that in college. I didn't realize I wanted to work in sports until given the opportunity. So just think of what could happen if you give a girl an opportunity that she's never had before. She hasn't played a sport before. She hasn't made a connection with her father before because they don't have you know similar interests. This sport can move mountains outside of just getting to learn something new. It has the opportunity to build connections, relationships, and get girls to places they never knew was possible. I've met so many young women who have such bright futures ahead of them because they found this sport. And a lot of them realizing that, you know, it doesn't have to stop after high school. It can go on to college. It can be something that they work professionally in. And it's great to see those avenues opened. I know that you said your goal is obviously to get a flag football team on every single high school in the state of Georgia. But beyond that, what is the goal here? What do you want to be taken away from this opportunity for these girls? We want to see it in every state. I think that's definitely the goal of not only us, but the entire NFL. I mean, there's motions to move it in every single state right now. Every single club is working on something to either pilot or get it up and running or already have it sanctioned and keep growing it. It's very important, not just to us, but also to the NFL, the world, that we really give these athletes an opportunity and give them a stage. I think a great way to look at that is the most recent Super Bowl commercial. I mean, when was the last time we had a halftime commercial that featured women, but featured girls flag football and not just the United States, it featured the quarterback from Mexico. That was just astonishing. So our goal is just to give everyone this opportunity, no matter if they're here in Atlanta or they're out in Nevada or they're all the way up in North Dakota, we want them to have the opportunity to play this sport.
Uh, so every year we actually host the annual Women's Flag Finals, which is in conjunction with the NAIA. It's where all their teams can come to Mercedes-Benz Stadium and they actually have their collegiate championships. So while we host that, we also host a showcase and that's where high school athletes from all around Georgia and Alabama for free can sign up to come and showcase their talents to recruiting colleges. And we've done this for the past two years. The first year we had roughly about 40 scholarships given on site. The second year we had 60. So it's just fantastic to see the girls that come here just to showcase what they've got and then walk away with an opportunity to play at the next level. And we followed some of these athletes on their stories when they started out of high school here, they went to the showcase and we actually had a young girl who was actually committed to go to UGA and do her schooling there. She got an offer at this showcase and flipped everything to go and play and start a flag football team with Reinhardt University, one that just started a girls flag football team. So it's really impactful to see that these girls are having this opportunity, they're getting scholarships, they're getting things that weren't even available two, three years ago just from having an event here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. How does it make you feel that this is now the result of something you guys started just a couple of years ago? It feels amazing to know that the work that we have done throughout the past couple of years has granted young women everywhere opportunities to go on to play at the next level or opportunities to come and just be here in this building and showcase what they have completely for free. And we really owe credit to our owner, Arthur Blank, for that. Our leadership, they are absolutely fantastic. They back us 100%. And the NFL, I mean, they really support everything that we do. So we we don't we don't credit ourselves as much as as some people would like to. We really owe credit to the people that back us and the people that believe us and the ones that go out and champion to their schools and their athletic directors to make this opportunity available. And to them, we owe everything and we can't thank them enough. Good deal. Good. Yep.